Hey guys, Professor Latimer here, and today I want to talk to you about CC Cycle 1, Week 10, new grammar, and some review ideas. So I'm going to show you how I had my board set up for Week 10. And we started out with geography for new grammar. And I love these uh, trifold printouts from CC Connected, um, from CC user um, Capel. Yeah, so it's been really helpful. Sometimes they're really small locations on the black and white map. So just having these kind of enlarged a little bit so we can see them a little bit better and point them out. So um, we looked at this and we're able to find them on our black and white maps. So that's what we did for geography. For uh, prepositions for our English, we did our um, silly action sticks. So I just take popsicle sticks and write silly voices or actions and the students each take one and we do uh, those prepositions for week 10 in those silly voices or silly actions. And then for science, what are some leaf shapes? I found this science trifold on CC Connected, and so I showed them some examples of what the different leaf shapes are. And then we did some hand motions. So we did linear, oval, and then we have lobed, like your ear lobe, and then cleft, like a, like a V there, cleft. And we have scale-like, like you're weighing a scale, and needle-like, like you're sewing. So we have linear, oval, lobed, cleft, scale-like, and needle-like. And then for math, we got out our uh, agility ladder. So I just laid this out on the floor before class and we jumped through it while listening to the song and singing um, our squares. And we hopped on one foot and then we walked backwards. So we did that um, while we sang through it twice. So we did the, the same jumping for uh, when we sang the song through twice. So um, that got us to seven times. And then for timeline, we, we sang through this week's timeline once, and then I took the cards out and shuffled them up and um, handed them out to the students. And then we had to figure out which order that the cards went in and depending on which card that they had. So they've been really liking that. So we sing through the timeline or that portion of the timeline up to that point as we get to the next card. So they've been enjoying that. And then for Latin, we we sang through the song. We did these uh, for week nine, so they were pretty familiar. I love these uh, pronunciation guides from SuzanneShares.com. She has these awesome Latin printables that are really helpful, um, just helpful pictures of how to say the noun declension. So um, that's what we did for Latin. It just went really quick. And then for history, we did some hand motions. So we did around 794 Japan kind of like a banana shape Japan's emperors moved to Heian present day Kyoto and we got the Heian period ended in the 12th century when civil war gave control to military commanders called shoguns um, in a feudal system where knights called samurai, like we're pulling out a sword, protected wealthy landowners. So we did hand motions for that, and we had a good time. And then for review this week, I found these um, blob maps. There's different versions. I think I found this on the CC Tutor Facebook page. They had some different versions of some blob maps. And so I got the little bit harder outlines for them to do. So they took their dry erase markers and they outlined um, the maps while we went through a uh, review work. So with the memory work, we kind of went through it by subject and went a little more quickly. We could do it by subject and we could sing through the preposition song and do the Latin really quickly and sing through the timeline song. So we just kept it simple for review. Uh, this last week and that worked out pretty well so that's what we did for cc cycle one week 10 we'll see you guys soon bye